One of the interesting aspects about any science fiction movie or TV series set in the future is seeing how well they predict events that are still yet to pass, especially if we get to experience them in our lifetime. As it is, sometimes it's probably a good thing they end up being wide of the mark. For example, in 1999 we didn't get to see the moon blast away from the Earth. In 2001 Hilton did not have a hotel on a space station, let alone a Pan Am taxi to take us there. And perhaps most fortunate of all, in 2022 we weren't eating other people, at least not that we know of. Yet sometimes a film will be released that is set in our future, and lo and behold some of the technological predictions turn out to be rather accurate. Examples of movies to do this include A Trip to the Moon from 1902, which featured a moon landing at a time when the first powered human flight was still a year away. Whilst Metropolis from 1927 not only showcased video conferencing before TVs were invented, but it also gave us the world's first human looking android. However, in what is perhaps the most unlikely film to get many of these wild and crazy predictions right, is the 1993 action movie Demolition Man. When it was released, many of its technological innovations were a long way off from even being conceived. Regarding the story, the film is based around LAPD Sergeant John Spartan, who is convicted for a crime he didn't commit and for punishment is placed in cryogenic freeze for long-term incarceration. In 2032, Spartan is thawed out to find an apprehend escaped psychopath Simon Phoenix, who was not only responsible for having Spartan convicted originally, but has also been in cryogenic prison along with him, yet was revived for his parole hearing. As a result, the film is a somewhat tongue-in-cheek humorous look at the future, as the vastly out of his depth Spartan tries to adjust to the new world which has changed significantly both on a technological and sociological level in the ensuing decades. It's for this reason the audience gets to follow Spartan on his new journey in a world full of newfangled contraptions and ideals. Yet somewhat ironically when the film was released in 1993, many of these concepts would have been considered fantasy and somewhat amusingly science fiction. Moreover, one can only imagine the skeptics of the time suggesting that many of these farcical ideas could never come to pass. Yet whether it be by coincidence or by design, a number of these items have not only come into existence, but have done so long before 2032. Within the film, it's noted the big one hit in 2010, which was a massive earthquake that hit the west side of the United States. Although not an earthquake per se, the world was hit with the COVID-19 pandemic 10 years later in 2020. The result of which saw an increase of non-human to human social contact, a distinct shortage of toilet paper as panic buying became commonplace, and both business and social gatherings were performed using online technology tools such as Zoom and Skype. As it is, all three of these elements are featured within the film. In addition, the film features a handheld communication device which has similar proportions to an iPad. Self-driving cars are evident within the film, which despite not being commonplace on our roads just yet, by 2032 most likely will be. When looking at cars further, it's worth noting they are electric vehicles which not only feature a GPS, but also touchscreens which were unheard of in 1993. Moreover, cars also have automated adjusted settings to suit an individual's physical size and driving preferences, which is a feature found in some real cars. Other technical innovations include voice-activated devices, including those used in the home to turn the lights on and off. As an extension of this, the vocal AI responses from devices clearly mirror those of Siri and Alexa. With regards to the home, it's worth noting the film features a large widescreen TV similar to the plasma, LCD and LED models which are now a common feature in every residence, even if in the film the screen is mounted vertically. Following on from these enhancements to society is the complete absence of cash, whereby all transactions occur digitally which is quickly becoming the norm in our world. As an extension to this, the film features a device hidden under the skin which allows for digital connectivity to take place. And while many people in our world use mobile phones and smart watches for this purpose, there is a growing trend to insert a subdermal implant called an RFID under the skin to alleviate the use of a handheld device. Other technical innovations include a very basic version of virtual reality designed to simulate sex so as to avoid any physical contact with a person. While the film's concept of VR is seen to be rather crude, it's likely that when virtual reality becomes more mainstream, sex along with violence is likely to be its biggest attraction. 
From a somewhat amusing and less technical perspective, the film was rather accurate predicting elements of the real world in the form of Arnold Schwarzenegger's political career. Although he never became president, he was the governor of California from 2003 to 2011. The film also accurately predicts our fascination with the 1980s. Even today, decades later, the 80s is considered a tentpole decade regarding art, movies, music, social awareness and pop culture. Somewhat ironically, many of the sequels or reboot movies made today originated at this time. Although not technically an accurate prediction, but an amusing observation nevertheless, the film makes mention of the franchise wars which was won by Pizza Hut. However, despite Pizza Hut still existing today, they are clearly not the powerhouse franchise they once were. With this in mind, for the US release of the film, it was actually Taco Bell who won the franchise war. Either way, whether it be pizzas or tacos, the film was accurate in predicting the continual issue of a class system within Western society, with both food and housing shortages for the less privileged being an ongoing concern. Alas, even after all these decades, some things clearly never change. In the end, Demolition Man is certainly not the best action movie around, and nor will it ever be considered a sci-fi classic. But out of all the films set in the future which have come to pass, it certainly got more hits than misses. Yet after having said all this, it's unlikely we'll ever learn what the three seashells are for. So with this in mind, the question needs to be asked as to what movies and TV shows being produced now are likely to predict our actual future. Putting the thoughts of alien invasions aside, there are a few possible likelihoods. The first could be a world like the Expanse TV series, which sees areas of the solar system colonised by humanity, whilst the less positive outcome would be the post-nuclear war world of Mad Max 2, where having access to fossil-based fuels such as oil is what gives people ultimate control. Alas, for better or worse, these more extreme outcomes are likely to occur in our distant future. But in the meantime, we can continue to watch our favourite movies and TV shows while saying, how cool will it be when this gets invented? Yeah.